Good day, kids. We have already discussed the different environmental issues and concerns in local communities. Today, we will talk about the common types of waste and proper waste management. In this lesson, you will explain the importance of handling waste properly for the cleanliness, safety, and well-being of the community and the environment. Waste Treatment, a Major Concern There are many issues and concerns in local communities. Waste treatment is one of the most pressing issues that needs to be addressed. Proper waste treatment is essential because everyday trash accumulates in every neighborhood or community, and residents need to make sure that their garbage is disposed of properly. If we don't dispose of our garbage and waste properly, they can make our air and water dirty with harmful bacteria and toxins. That will not be good for humans, animals, and plants. You need to learn how to treat waste in a way that keeps your community clean and safe for everyone. First, you have to know the different types of waste. Types of Waste Materials Waste materials can be classified into different types based on their origin and characteristics. 1. Non-recyclable waste this consists of materials that do not go into recycling bin because they cannot be turned into new things easily. They include things that are usually used only once or for a limited period, after which you can no longer use them. Used tissues and diapers are examples of non-recyclable waste. 2. Recyclable waste this consists of things that can be used again if you collect and send them to recycling centers so that they can be made into new things. Examples are papers, plastic bottles, and containers, glass jars, and tin and aluminum cans. 3. Organic waste Organic waste comes from plants or animals. It is biodegradable which means it has the ability to biodegrade or decompose. Fruit and vegetable peels, food scraps or leftovers, and fallen leaves or parts of plants are examples of organic waste. Organic waste can be composted to create nutrient-rich soil. 4. Hazardous waste Hazardous waste include things that can be dangerous to people and environment such as old batteries and some cleaning products. You need to be careful when disposing of them. Activity number one, based on what you learned, think of a simple community project that your class can do to solve waste treatment issues in your community. In your notebook, Identify the project and the steps you will take to implement it effectively. Make sure that your project has the following details below. Answer the guide questions in your notebook. Now, let us discuss about proper waste management. Proper waste management is essential for keeping our communities clean and protecting our beautiful environment. It is important to follow waste segregation guidelines and support recycling and composting efforts to reduce waste and conserve resources. 1. Reduce and Reuse Reducing waste is an important part of waste management and one of the first steps to address the issue. It helps lessen the amount of waste produced and the demands for natural resources. We can help reduce waste by wisely choosing what we use and consume, and reusing things whenever possible. For example, it is best to choose products with minimal or eco-friendly packaging. 
Also, buying in bulk can also reduce packaging waste. Instead of immediately throwing non-biodegradable products away after using them once, consider using them again. It is like giving toys, clothes, furniture, and other useful and reusable things a second chance. 2. Recycling Recycling is an awesome and interesting way to give old things new life. In the Philippines, we collect materials such as paper, plastic, glass, and metal so that they can be recycled. These materials are brought to recycling centers, where they are usually sorted, cleaned, treated, and processed before they are turned into new products. Not only is it amazing to see how old stuff is turned into new stuff, but it is also rewarding to see how recycling significantly saves natural resources and reduces waste. 3. Composting Composting is like a natural recycling process. To make compost, we gather kitchen scraps, fallen leaves, and yard waste. Then we put these organic wastes into compost bins or compost pits. Over time, they break down into nutrient-rich soil, which can be used to help plants grow. 4. Waste Collection and Segregation The first step in waste management is to collect the waste materials from homes, schools, and communities. The collected waste is then transported to facilities for further processing. They segregate the waste materials into different classes according to their composition mainly recyclables or non-recyclables to make sure they are handled properly. 5. Waste Disposal Non-recyclables and non-compostable waste is disposed of in landfills. Landfills are large areas where waste is carefully buried. The Philippines has engineered landfills that minimize environmental impacts and keep our communities safe and clean. In summary, waste treatment methods involve recycling, composting, waste collection, and the responsible management of non-recyclable waste through landfilling. Reducing waste and reusing items are also important steps in waste management to keep our communities and the environment clean and sustainable. Activity number two, as a responsible learner and member of the community, how can you contribute to waste management and help keep our surroundings clean, safe, and environment friendly? Write your answer in your notebook. Activity number three, using a reliable books, magazines, or the internet, conduct a research about why hermit crabs and corals are considered nature's recyclers. Answer the guide questions in your notebook. Study the diagram. From the information presented in the diagram, form sentences that state important things you have learned in this lesson. Write the sentences in your notebook. For your reflection, copy the table below in your notebook. Read each statement carefully. In the second column, write, yes if the statement is 100% true and you have no more questions, somewhat if you still have some questions or areas to review, or, not yet if you need further clarification or require more time to revisit the lesson.